Hi everyone, welcome to Five Explain Solution. This is Ishaan Kumar Arora. So, as you read the topic, we are going to deal about the main concept behind the intrinsic plus and intrinsic minus position. So, before understanding this topic, you all must be confirmed about the function of the muscles which are involved in producing these two types of positions, uh, that is intrinsic plus or intrinsic minus. So, as the term suggests, the intrinsic. So you must be knowing about the two terms, the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles. Intrinsic muscles are those muscles which take origin and insertion in that part, either it is hand or the palm only. But extrinsic muscles are those, uh, for example, that take origin from the parts outer than the hand. Let's say from the shaft of uh, your ulna and radius, or and they are inserting into the hand uh, either it, it is and it can be any position like fds fcr there are number of umpteen number of muscles in the in our hand and in our foot and uh, that we can see in lower leg so as we are uh, concerned to about today that intrinsic plus and intrinsic minus position so we should be knowing about the two intrinsic muscles which feed this movement so the two intrinsic muscle which take origin and insertion in the hand complexes lumbricus and uh, that worm like muscles uh, that give its name and second are do uh, introsci that is palm introsci on the palmar surface and dorsal introsci on the dorsal surface i hope you are uh, aware with the the functioning of these palm introsci and uh, dorsal introsci that palm introsci adduct the fingers and dorsal introsci abduct the fingers so our next muscle is lumbricus, which are slight complicated, but uh, today I will try to simplify their function uh, by explaining you the main concept that how they produce their action. So the lumbricus are four in number and they take their origin from the flexor tendons, basically of flexor deuteral profundus, and moreover, then they move forwards toward the fingers. They took uh, origin from the flexor tendons and they are four in numbers to late to medial and to lateral and to remember the their nerve supply the lateral two the one one lumbricus second lumbricus third and fourth last ones are bipendent these are unipendent that, that's a different matter and so we are concerned here about the their nerve supply uh, how to remember them one two are mine and three four for you that is one two me, medial nerve, 3, 4, R for you, that is ulnar nerve. So, one, lumbricle number 1, lumbricle number 2 is for me, that is medial nerve, and lumbricle number 3 and 4 are for you, that is ulnar nerve. So, this is, uh, yeah, you can remember their nerve supply by this uh, small uh, mnemonic. And uh, now, let's move to their function. As you can see, that when we are talking about any type of muscle which take origin from some place and insert to another place, uh, let's say an example of uh, flex, uh, this bicep brachii. It is the muscle of anterior complex or anterior aspect of our arm. So when it will contract, it will produce approximation of this forearm and arm by the contractile property. Same likewise, the position and movement of the or physiological movement at a particular joint depends on the position of a muscle, how it cross a particular joint it will produce movement with respect to that position likewise in our hand that is the lumbrical muscles they take origin from the anterior aspect passing superior to this metacarpal diverse lig uh, this uh, ligament or you can say that there is a band of sheet band of sheet over the this MT, mcp joint metacarpophalangeal joint it passes above from this and anterior to metacarpophalangeal joint so when it will contract it will pull the metacarpophalangeal joint towards the palm or it will create flexion so and then it moves to become a part of the extensor hood or extensor expansion which is the proper mechanism or which is the proper combination of three to four muscles that produce extension at our fingers interphalangeal and uh, distal or uh, proximal interphalangeal joints so it becomes part of that extensor expansion 
so moving from this side this muscle cross the mtp from anterior aspect and move backward from here this move backward towards the posterior aspect of pip and dip joint what is that pip and dip that is the proximal interphalangeal and distal interphalangeal joint so suppose i am pulling a lumbricus it will flex my metacarpophalangeal joint and as it is passing from posterior aspect of the dip and pip joint so it will pull it backward meanwhile what that what that mean that it will create flexion torque at mtp or say mcp and extension at pip and dip joint so whenever it will function it will move the finger like this producing flexion at mcp joint and extension at pip and dip joint this is the function of limbricus so suppose someone uh, is suffering from any type of uh, upper motor neuron disease and he has a spastic uh, the uh, spastic spastic intrinsic muscle where uh, that also that uh, you can also call that uh, hypertonic uh, muscles in the in, uh, hypertonicity in the intrinsic muscle of the hand or in this can be occur in uh, any part of the uh, body but let us consider for hand so a special type of position will occur that is known as the uh, today is um, that is our main topic the intrinsic plus position in which only intrinsic muscle will act or they will dominate the position because of their hypertonicity or their muscle imbalance between the flexors and extensor tendons they will dominate and they will produce their action that is flexion at M M C P metacarpophalangeal joint and extension at P I P and D I P joint. Alongside, you can see the my fingers are adducted. So there is a component of introsia is too. So both these muscles, the lumbricus and alongside the introsia, work together to create this position. This is known as intrinsic plus hand or in intrinsic plus position. So I hope you learned the basic biomechanics between. this position that is intrinsic plus position now the opposite of it or you can the vice versa mechanism occurring in the intrinsic minus position in which suppose a person is suffering from ulnar or um, median nerve palsy so you can you have might have listened a famous term that is ulnar or, re, or median claw hand or complete claw hand in which there is a paralysis of these lumbricals so the unopposed action of lumbrical will occur how action of lumbricus is to flexion at mtp mcp extension at pip and dip now opposite will occur flexion at pip dip and hyper extension at your mtp oh, i'm sorry metacarpophalangeal joint mcp joint and flexion at these two joints the proximal and distal interphalangeal joint so this is known as the claw hand position or intrinsic minus position so i hope you have understood the basic phenomenon between uh, in of intrinsic plus and intrinsic minus hand position and you like the video so you can subscribe or share it with your friends thank you